Howdy guys, hope you're all well. I just, uh, quick thing I got in the mail and uh, it is a pound of Pokemon from Cherry Collectibles, right there. And yeah, thought we'd open it together and see if it's a worthwhile investment. $20 Australian and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, I got this beautiful thing today, I hope. It's from Cherry Collectibles in Melbourne and it's called a pound of Pokemon or pound of Pokemon. And basically for $20, they say they will give you 400 Pokemon cards ish. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm curious to see how many we get today and yeah, to see what it is. I'm not expecting anything spectacular because it is, you know, a lot of cards for a little bit of money, but. Yeah, it'd be nice to see if we get something fun and uh, get some sets that we've never collected. Oh, okay. So as part of that, you get a little something extra and they've given us a booster pack. Okay, there's a lot of cards. So as you can see, for $20 you get a lot of cards. And... I'm presuming they will all be. I was actually saying, what if they, what if they were all um, energies? <laughs> but I figured if you were just recently getting into Pokemon cards, or if you wanted to get someone a big bulk for um, your for their collection, this could be a good way to go. Energy's a good start. Is it a good start? So uh, beware. Okay. Rescue stretch. I like it. Tentacle. Hmm, this is a nice chancy. I'm seeing a lot of basics or a lot of uh, commons, a few uncommons. I wonder if they slipped any rares in. I kind of doubt it. Oh, there you go. Registeel rare. Energy. Okay. I actually like the Alolan series. Anyone with me on that? Energy, beautiful. Lure ball, rainbow energy, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm kind of enjoying just, I think this is, ooh, this is actually quite cute. cute. I've never seen this one before. Um, Plusol, very sweet. So yeah. Did I get ripped off here guys? Let me know. Or is it a good thing? I think you can't really go wrong with $20 for a big bulk of cards. Oh, another rare. Medicham. Hmm. Another one of this guy. So yeah, I'm pretty sure what they do at, um, what they be doing at Cherry is, uh, go, just grabbing a big bulk and, uh, yeah, filling up that box. A little a little hack you can do if, if anyone's thinking of buying this is Cherry give you $10 off your first purchase if you order online. Um, there's a little secret. Or just a code that pops up and you put in your email and whatnot. So you can, for the price of admission, get uh, half off this box if you wanted or use it for free shipping. Another rare, unknown. I actually really like these unknowns. Energy. Oh. Manatine. Wait and see. <laughs> that is quite fun. Wait and see hammer. Okay, Marie something or other. That is a cool tangle art. I like that. I know, I know we're just looking at uh, common cards, but I do, I think, uh, ooh, shaky. I think some of these common cards especially have the best art on them. Ooh. Kartana, another energy, another glorious energy. I'd love if there was randomly, oh. Azmaril, energy, Charmeleon. Does anyone have it when they when they um, 
is a good cut point. Whenever I hear the word Charmeleon, I'm always taken back to the poker rap. So it goes Charmeleon, War Turtle, something, 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 Aerodactyl, Omanite, Slowpoke. Um, and I always think about that. So whenever I see a Charmeleon, it's not that I see a Charmeleon, I see Charmeleon and my mind goes, Charmeleon, War Turtle. So that's probably why in that moment you heard me slow down a bit. Just uh, letting you know what's going on in this mind in the pandemic. That's a that's a wicked charmeleon though. Okay. That was fun. Clink, tang, another tangler. Okay. Sorry about the shaky camera, everyone. My, if we'll call it a rig, earthquake test. Snubble, Slugma. Ooh, that's quite a sweet Pokemon. What is everyone's opinion on the um on the clay figures versus the woven figures? Which one do people like better? Slowpoke versus the woven figures. I wanna know what what do people prefer? Phantom. That is awesome. I actually really like that card. I have an interest in the sort of spooky or macabre, so if, if anyone's... Oh, something cool is coming up. I'm sure it's just a common, but... Uh, uncommon, but that is a... My goodness, a cool card. Enhanced Hammer, don't we all wish? Um, Parat. Gilgar. Bellsprout. Cottony, energy, love to find another, ooh, Slowbro. I always feel bad, like, is that Pokemon, so it's a parasitic relationship, isn't it? There's a Pokemon that's literally stuck to his um, tail. Oh, awesome. A Kamala, uh, I saw this card somewhere and I thought I want that card because as an Australian, you gotta rep your own animals. A low and geodude. Clefairy. That's quite so this ice cream Pokemon. Energy. I'm very thankful that it's not uh, 400 energy cards, which it very well could have been. I feel like if I had bought this package off eBay or oh, another rare. Pro Pass, whatever that is. Armor um, Fossil Shieldion, Flappy, Monferno, another one of these guys, Lizard, Spooky Bird, Magnemite, ooh, another one of the sweet um, woven Pokemon, so that was my stomach, the Skateboard, that's quite cool. Slugma, Lavatar, Woven Pokemon, another fun Bellsprout, and an Energy, and a Mawile. Let's see. Multi-Switch, Torchic, Shuppet, Mudkip, Bagon, Woven Pokemon, Funny Whale, Dog, Bear with a Snot. Is that a Bear with a Snot? Tangler, ooh, your favorite uh, Nana's activity. Alolan Volpix, love me in Alolan. Energy, Electabuzz. Cascoon, taking a long time to go. Th this is a lot of cards. I think, yeah, the, the, old, uh, the old saying, we're going for quantity, guys. And there is a tiny bit of quality, another rare. Bit of fun. Energy, so when you are going for quantity with hidden bits of quality in there, you just gotta relax in the fact that there's gonna be a lot of quantity. I guess I'm gonna have to start getting binders for all this stuff now. Ooh, another rare. 
Simipor, Snorlax, everyone's favorite dad activity. Ooh. Um, I got this card. Sorry if I'm not talking anymore, I'm sort of running out of things to say to all this beautiful, beautiful bulk. So I do have to warn you, it has been quarantined, it has been self-isolating, and the hair is getting crazy, the beard is getting wild and scruffy, and um, the days are disappearing. <laughs> Ooh, alright. Okay, 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 but without further ado. Um... What's everyone's thought? Should I have just bought, um, for $20 Australian, I could have bought about four packs of uh, some Sun and Moon. Ooh, another rare. Ferrothorn. Energy. Gosh, am I like... Oh, that's a cool Kangaskhan. And like, at what point does a Kangaskhan... Oh, that is a cool Hitmonchan. What point does a Kangaskhan, um... The baby come out of its. Oh, that's a really cool onyx. What point does the baby come out of the Kangaskhan mum's or parent's um, pouch? And then what happens to the parent Kangaskhan? Do they die or do they just. Does the new baby start forming? Is it sort of like asexual? You know, just like one starts growing and, and not? Or like, help me out here, people. What's the deal? That is a fun squirtle. I have not got a Pikachu yet. My little nephew was just telling me how much he loves, uh... Ooh, cool, a Lapras. Non-hollow rare. You know, he, he's not quite into Pokemon, but we got him a couple of packs and he was loving life. But, um, it was a fun mouth. Yeah, he was asking me about what Pikachus I have and whatnot, and, uh... Oh, cool, Starmie rare. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't gotten any in here. Persian. Make M pay a nice little addition on the payday. Oh, cool! Rejoice rare. Please forgive me if I'm saying these things wrong. I'm probably at a what you call a noob level when it comes to all these. This is something I like that they do now. So there is two different bag on arts, and uh, I'm a fan. Oh, cool. Swampert Rare. Energy. Another one of these bad boys. A Pelican. The Sun. This almost, this looks a bit too evil for me, I'm sorry. Whale. I love the, I love the idea of the whale, you know, giant whale Pokemon, just cause, um... I see you, baby, shaking that. Um, just, like, you're gonna catch it and put it in this Pokeball. Um, but I guess what did they do before, before Pokeballs? Did you just have like, uh, like did you just catch Pokemon? And, uh, well, you had to just get them to kind of hang with you? Like, do you want to, and what if you caught that whale Pokemon? So it's like, now you just, you can't leave the water. That's a nice Kakuna. Please forgive me while I take a sip. Nidorino. Nice classic art Eevee. Kevin Durant. Fortress. No. Fortress. I like it. Him on top. How sweet's that? Yeah, I think one of the cool things about this box, very fun chancy, is that it's given me an opportunity just to um, see some very sweet Pokemon art that I might not normally get to see. Very seductive. Alolan Meowth. Oh, that's quite fun. And plus now I've finally got enough energies to um, start throwing them like Rule Breaking Nate. Or Real Breaking Nate. Slugma, something. That's a bit scary. Sorry if I keep going to the corner of the camera, guys. It's not that I don't like y'all. It's not my hands trying to... That's quite sweet. But yeah, bit of fun here and uh, getting close to the end. Thank you for, oh, got another rare. 
Bastiodon. I have to actually learn what um, what series these are all from. I'm very new to the whole process, very new sort of anything that is beyond um, fossil and jungle. Uh, was a, And Gym Heroes was about the time I stopped collecting another rare. Brooksish. Sorry about that, I'll probably have to edit this video down a little bit. But, uh, or not, and just, just let it let it live on forever, live and let it uh, die. Okay. Meditite. Not as many energies in here as they could have put in. They could have literally made the whole box energies and laughed all the way to the thank you. Oh, cool. Beretic. Rare. And yeah, so they sort of g gave a good amount of Scyther, Muriel, another Onyx. I think as far as, yeah, get, ooh, another rare. Shadin. Shadinja? Very fun. I was hoping uh, maybe to find a hollow in there or some reverse hollows, but didn't happen. Oh, another rare, Steelix. But uh, yeah, good way to just spend an afternoon and uh, see a bunch of cards. Cascoon. Another wait and see hammer. I don't think I ever appreciated the Pokemon uh, puns. Yamask. Oh cool, another unknown, rare. Mamu Milk, Fairy Charm. Now that I feel like I've got enough uh, hoot hoot, enough things to sort of start putting a uh, deck together or something. Particularly all the um, all the uh, trainer cards. Okay, so when we start, we'll open up this bad boy. So what do we got? A packet of, so they say as part of your thing you get a packet of, I mean not a packet, you get something special. And they claim it could be like a wreck, you know, a good rare or something, or a pack of cards. So we got a packet of Cosmic Eclipse, which I guess is, you know, that's $5 Australian, $5 to $6 Australian um, for a thing that was only $20. So that's not a bad deal. Okay, so. There's the card, if anyone's interested, we'll go one, two, three, four. Well, we got a few leaf energies. Bigly Buff, Fire Roar, Hakama-O, Cricketart, Handbutt Monkey, Woobat, Ducket, Swirlix. Oh, cool. Okay, a full art wishy washy. That's how I. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry. Um, but that is a cool. I'm excited we got that because I don't know about the next card. And a regular rare Garudon. Grodon. Grogon? Whatever it is, please help me. We got. I'm not going to count them, but about 400 cards they claimed. And in addition to all this beautiful bulk that I'm sure you all love and just want to have so much in and around yourselves um, to touch and to hold and just to let you know that the world is not as bad as it all seems in this crazy time, you know, that we can all just get along and not get the sweet coronavirus. Not oh, it's not sweet. I, I describe this uh, this coronavirus as as spicy and salty. Um, but yeah, we got all that sweet bulk, all um, trainer cards and um, common and uncommons. And in addition to that, we also got. As I mentioned, one pack of uh, Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon, which gave us these two cards. 
And we also got, how do you guys, just a quick update with all the rares I got. I had another look through the 400 cards and I found a few more. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27, 26 non-holo rares, and from that uh, Sword and Shield pack, one full art wishy-washy, reverse holo. So yeah, I, you know, I'm not saying any of these are worth anything in particular great, um, but it is always a pleasure to get something fun, to see something new, and to see some art that you wouldn't normally see. Um, so give me, give me your opinions, everyone. Was this worth the $20 spent, or should we send it back to the drawing board? And if you guys want to get one yourself, go to cherrycollectibles.com.au. Alright guys, thank you all very much.